What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're going to be jumping in the next one on our Netherlands journey. Things Dutch people do that are disgusting in other countries. I mean, I could probably think of lots of stuff in other countries that the Dutch would probably find disgusting as well. But let's jump in. Let's check it out. The, the word from the Discord is that they like me to try to decide which ones are true and which ones are false. We're going to attempt it. We're going to attempt it. We're going to see how we do. Let's jump into it. Let's check it out together. Shout out to Learn Dutch with Bart DePaul. Definitely go show his channel some love if you like the content. After all, without him, we wouldn't have anything to react to in the first place. I'm going to leave his stuff down inside the description. Let's jump in. Let's check it out together. Let's roll. Here it's almost like a public thing that you're just discussing <laughs> what you do in the toilet and how you do it. And... <laughs> I saw that it says sense of humor required. If you don't have one, you might as well click off the video because we're doing it anyway. Let's go. Are there any habits or things that you see Dutch people do uh, that in your own country would be, let's say, inappropriate? Oh. Hmm. I see some Dutch people doing that after food. <laughs> True. It's just to take uh, everything, like... Yeah, it's just done, but they want just to get every penny out of it. Maybe like, okay, when people bring like a loaf of bread with like a jar of Nutella and a jar of pin pindakas. And then they like dip the knife, make their little sandwich, then lick the knife, then dip it in the other condiment, you, and I'm like... You don't like that. It, you don't, like, you don't mix your saliva in with the pot. See, I'm fine with it. Not now we don't. Like, back in the day, double dipping is totally fine with me. I'm... I know that the finger sucking is true because uh, that has come up in the Discord before. The 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 licking your fingers that came up. So I know that that one's true. I know that they love some sandwiches too, though. Like, but I don't know. I don't know about the Nutella thing. I don't know about licking the knife and putting it back. I'm a. Ooh. Goodness, I don't know about that one. Where I come back to that one? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised though. <laughs> the whole like leaving the shoes on in the house, it's not, I don't find it gross, but I find it really weird. It's gross. Because <laughs> in Canada, it's like you walk in, the first thing you do is, where do I put my shoes? And you ask them. Uh, that's not gross to wear your shoes in your house. It's your house. L what is there to be disgusted about? That's not disgusting. There's not, we don't do that in America. Take your shoes off. Certain households do that came from other countries where they do it. But the average American is just like, yo, come on in. That's very weird that you would think that wearing your shoes in the house is disgusting. I don't think that's disgusting at all. Where do I leave my shoes? And they're like, oh, just put them there. And then you take your shoes off and that's it. But here, you just walk through the whole house everywhere with your shoes on. Even if you've just come from like a muddy forest yeah. and they have like white floors. <laughs> and, and you're just like, no, you're just walking around on, in your muddy fine. shoes. Every time I go to the restroom and there's a Dutch girl in the stall next to me, sometimes they walk out without it washing their hands. Even if you don't use soap, just rinse them. That's a personal thing, though. You can't say all Dutch people do that. I know a lot of nasty-ass Americans, too. I've noticed that you are used to put the, the toilet just after the, the enter door. That's true. When you enter, you have the toilet right there. Yes, <laughs> but true. But you used to put it at the end of the house. Oh, because, you know, yeah. it's not nice to enter and see the, the toilet. Well, in the Netherlands, you don't have the bidet. They need to use the toilet paper every time they go to the toilet and they don't even use water to clean themselves after that. Neither do Americans. I'm totally on board with the bum gun. Get a bum gun, put it inside of your bathroom, and you won't ever have to worry about whether or not the grocery store is out of toilet paper again. You could just spray yourself and then whew, air dry. And when you ask them, like, why do you do that? Oh. They said, like, okay, we just have a shower every day. But still, you know? You would use the whole four times without using the bidet, and for me that's disgusting. The only thing that I really don't like and I don't understand is that like, why do you need to have a sink in your room? Because this is the moist bringer, and uh, when it drips, it's like in a gel, so the drop by drop. One thing I've heard. It's a what bringer? Did she just say it's a moist bringer? <coughs> First of all, 
sink in the room when well maintained is not going to leak all over the place. It is also a really good way to wash your hands. So it's kind of the opposite of disgusting as long as you clean it and keep it maintained. I'm pretty sure it's Dutch is having a calendar in your toilet. Dutch? Yeah. yeah see, I, I grew That's up with true. That's yeah, normal. Really... But yep. <laughs> looking back on it, it's another a truth weird. one. Yeah. <laughs> they're here, like when someone you're having dinner with uh, Dutch people and they have to go to the toilet, they just say, ah, I'm going to the VC. Whereas in Italy, you would say, like, ah, Excuse me for a minute. And then, of course, no one is going to ask you, What are you going to do? What the hell is a VC? Why would you say, I'm going to the VC? I don't know what VC is yet. Because he was going to tell him, hey, I'm going to the toilet. But here you say, ah, I'm going to the VC. And they actually, yeah, they say, like, I'm going there to do this. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, yeah, tell but, yeah, yeah my to, dad does that, yeah. They have to drop the kids off the pool. Oh, no, no, no. We don't deal with the, we don't deal with the slanderous butthole talk. Negative. Negative. I actually counseled one of my female Marines, because that's what she used to do to me. Come in every morning with a different way of saying that she had to go drop a deuce. I don't need to hear all that. Just say, excuse me for a second, I'll be right back, or I'm going to the bathroom. You can even say I'm going to the bathroom. I don't need to know what the hell you're doing in the bathroom. I don't care what you're going in there for. To, to use the restroom, a little ma me on me time. Like, I don't really don't care what happens behind the bathroom wall. You could just say, excuse me, be right back. Gotta go to the bathroom. I have to take a huge shit, sorry. One minute, I'll be back. I don't think that people will care. And they go, I have to poop, okay. <laughs> It'll be like that. Yeah. Like, if you said a lot of the things that the Dutch say, yeah. if you said that in Ireland, you yeah. would, uh, hmm, you would have People would raise problems. their eyebrows, yeah. I think more than their eyebrows. Oh, right. <laughs> oh yeah, boodschappen, 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 is that? Yeah, hold the boat up. I think it's a little bit strange because then you put like buy stuffs and just put big in the, uh, together in one word. Then yeah, you're going to the toilet to uh, your business. And like the stalls are different. Like here, the stalls are literally like a stall like for horses. Like <laughs> and so like bad. they have like really big gaps underneath. It's like this much so, like underneath. you can see like your full like shoe, like your full. Like... Have you never been to America? They got a gap underneath. They got a gap on top, and they got a gap where the door is supposed to close. Like leg practically. Yeah, and like in between the door, there's like a crack yeah. this wide. So if you're walking, you can make eye contact yeah. with someone while they're peeing. It's, and it's so, so disgusting. It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> because here it's almost like a group activity. Everyone just goes in together, pisses together, and then comes out together. I, and I have never understood why what? they do that. But There are the, the these toilets in the street, and there was one guy, he was using the toilet, but the other one was in the other side and he was doing the same. And it was, oh my God, just wait. On festivals, we also get this, like, you know, this get like, it looks like a star and it's like just this stall and it's in the middle of the festival and the man just go there and pee and you can even get an get icon, the <laughs> icon to the guy who's standing in front of you. Dutch people like Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's a normal, that's a normal kind of festival thing put their bags at random on the street when they are talking. Uh, we don't put the bag in the floor or backpack or anything. How, I don't know how they they call this, but... Where the, where are these people from? We don't put a backpack on the floor. Where the hell do you put it? You would hate my high school backpack. I walked in, threw the shit on the floor. I don't care about a backpack. It's a backpack. It's supposed to keep all the stuff inside of it clean. Dutch word is in your nose Okay, in your nose pattern. Okay. Yeah, they yeah, they actually they do this one. I see a couple and they were almost having sex in the street. There was I think they were drunk, but they were almost having sex in, in, but in, that's in, not in, a, in a public Dutch place. thing. I'm trying to think of foods that are like food habits that are gross. Yeah. These people would never make it in America. Never. Nope. Hot, steamy cars all over the damn place in America. Go to some lookout points. I feel like, I feel like I always like, put like, food with grossness. They'll have, for instance, a steak or like, I don't know, a breakfast on Ausmeite, and they'll cut it all up into pieces, and then they'll eat piece, piece, piece. You know, you're kind of a child because children have... Yeah, children, mom and dad cut that up. I, you don't cut my steak like that. And I think, 
That looks kind of strange to me. Uh, Syntax class, uh, Syntax class, I'm just throwing these small, uh, not candies, but these cookies, small cookies. Yeah, oh, for the kids, the, the, the kids start the, eating yeah. from the ground. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> mayonnaise. I really, really don't like mayonnaise, and you guys put it on everything and you sneak it. Thank you. Me and this man would get along. Mayonnaise. I understand already before you get into it, the Dutch mayonnaise is different than American mayonnaise. I get it. It's still a white, creamy, nasty substance that uh, I'm going to try the Dutch kind because they said it's not nasty. So we'll try it and we'll see what we think. But in the menu, I don't like mayonnaise. What's with the poke bowl and mayonnaise on the rice? Like, that's just gross. Like, mayonnaise on rice is gross. <laughs> so it wasn't on the menu that it had mayonnaise in the sauce, but it's there and I don't like mayonnaise. And so that is the worst part of the Netherlands for me. Yeah, don't you put mayonnaise on nothing of mine. But I know that's true. I think we did all right discovering what was true and what was false. We're pretty good at this. Of course, not only Dutch people do this. I think the people that were disgusted by wearing your shoes in the house are weirder than the people that wear your shoes in the house, honestly. But aside from that, I think we did pretty well at identifying what was true and what was false. Hey, if you guys thought we did good, let me know down inside the comments. Hit the like button if you liked it, the dislike button if you dislike it. Go show Bart the pile some love on his channel. I'm going to drop it down below inside the description. Check out one of the other videos up there. Subscribe right here if you want to see more content, possibly your content. Till the next one, I'm highly combustible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. I love you to the moon and back. Peace.